Welcome back to the show. I'm the Beard Venture. And I'm Robbie. And this is a special episode for us because when I say local beer, I mean, not only is brewed in the same town we live in, uh, brewed by people we know. This is the first of Hub City's beers that I've reviewed on camera because this is the first one that I know of that was bottled. Yes. Okay. And this is Bonfire. And Bonfire is a 9.8% alcohol, 35 IBUs, but there's something a little special. So right. they age it in for in Pritchard's Brandy Barrels, which is in Kelso, Tennessee. Yeah. Um, and they do it for 11 months. I don't know why they decided on that kind of 11 month to almost... Well, what I was told was they said they tasted it, and this was where they were like, oh, that tastes great, pull it out. Yeah. Um, now, I've had this already. I had this at the brewery. And I thought it was fantastic. So we managed to grab it. I had it out of a crowler, so I've never had it bottle conditioned. I haven't either. Uh, I had it. So So these were cellar aged for two months. Okay. Um, and then until something kind of dangerously is happening with them. Okay. Well, so, you know, you've got a nice little wax seal on there. and uh, Which is bold. Which is bold for a local brewery to put it yeah, in. Yeah, I, I thought so. Uh, they've got a great little logo and everything. I don't know. I haven't actually. I'll look at the crown cap because everybody knows I'm a crown cap collector. I, I've never opened one of these before. Uh, I've only ever opened <laughs> one wax bottle before. And um, okay, this is like the good wax. This wasn't like crayon wax. Yeah, this is, this is Maker's Mark's wax. It was. Uh, now, <laughs> well, I mean, we're gonna have waxy beer. <laughs> I can't get the I can't get the bottle cap under there. Do you think your little on. thing that you have? like No, because of the stuff on the top. Oh, wait. Yeah, hey, hey, this hey. might work. Oh. Uh, well, that's fine. I mean, it's just a black top. Yeah, that's that's okay. But I'm, um, look, I don't, uh, you know, I, I would hate this. If you could leave the wax on, though, that'd be good. I know. That's what I was trying to do. I thought it'd be groovy. It's okay. We'll figure it out. You got another one to experiment on. Yeah. So. Well, that's it. Just no, no, it's not. <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Well, that's all right. I mean, <laughs> talk amongst yourselves while we get this straightened out. <laughs> yeah, it's drink, uh, drink another beer. Uh, Decide if you want this beer. I mean, odds are good most people are not going to be able to get this beer if you're not in the West Tennessee area. Um, I'm freaking trying, guys. Oh, oh. Ah, yeah. I've never opened it against wax. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh. I've done fizzed it up because okay, I'm... Okay, this is the dangerous part. <laughs> um, these were bottle conditioned as well. Yes. So they're starting to build up a little bit of a... So when we said we cellar age these, the reason we stopped cellar aging it is because they went, hey, y'all should go ahead and drink that. That yeah. was bottled conditioned. And we went, Ooh. Oh, ooh. oh okay. Uh, <laughs> so I took it right out of the cellar, put it in, put it in, a, <laughs> in a fridge. So we went ahead... That was better than I thought it was going to be. Got a little nervous. Noise. Okay, so let's zoom in and show what's up. I didn't see any set sediment in there. Woo. Yeah, look at that. Like, look at that. Yeah, carbonation. <laughs> okay. Uh, golly. I told you. Uh, we were going to use our normal little snifter glasses going down, uh, but he was like, uh, carbonation. We'll go ahead and smell it. You know. Damn, it smells good. Well, I'm a fan really of We Heavies anyways. Yeah. Uh, it's so pretty at the bottom, I just need a little more. I know. <laughs> I'm not I'm not completely incorrectly pouring this beer. It's just like we said, it's bottle conditioned, so it's Oh. Wait, no, I've I poured it like that's oh, just like oh, my oh, cappuccino oh, to oh, make that. Oh look at it, look at it. Uh, we does, do it have... pass, does it pass the bottle cap test? Can you float it? Oh, God, yes. <laughs> I can just about float a can. Uh, let me see if I can get the studio audience a Come little on. bit here. Come God, on, Josh. Just, you got this. It Look is... at it. There you go. Ooh, it, that looks good. It looks good. It is absurdly carbonated. Watch this. I'm going to get... Oh, oh, you're putting too much in it. No. Come on, That's Randy just Savage. right, man. That Come on. Good. Um, So I get that over there. Whoop. I'm gonna need a napkin for this. Get out okay. of here. <laughs> uh, uh, go ahead and do the finger. 
I hate doing that. But. The Rona finger. Ooh. Mm. Mm. That's it. sweeter than when you first had it. I don't know. I'm about to find out. I got a little beer. I tried. Man, that's good though. Wow. Man, that's good. Dad, going. See, you get this nice smoothness, but a lot of people when they see that 35 IBU, they think, man, that's going to be just a lot of hops. No, no, no 35, 35 IBUs is going to yeah. be a lot of malt, but the higher IBUs is right. more. So this is like super smooth. And I will tell you, honestly, it doesn't drink like an almost 10% alcohol beer. No, but the Pritchard's barrels really show through this beer. You get that some vanilla and kind of dark stone fruit. We call that, I guess in the bourbon world, barrel spice. Yeah. You get the barrel note, the barrel spice. I'm trying to get some more in here for him. Um... I just watch you pour that all day. This is gorgeous. And like we said, this was uh, completely. I I think it's actually a little smoother now than when I had it on draft. It was, it was better. Than, it was the bottle aged is better than the crowler. Which, but Cody and Gordon both said, "Hey, it's going to taste way better bottle yeah. aged." So this is barrel aged. And bottle aged. Yes. I just decided to do it all. Why not? You know. Um. I mean. I'm kind of digging it. Um. It's got a very distinct malt backbone. Yeah. It's very, very smooth. Uh. The brandy's not overpowering. Mm -hmm. I've had a couple. When I was at the brewery. There was a couple people there. And they told me they weren't too sure about having it they don't drink brandy and i was like i've already had it give it a taste it doesn't taste like brandy but no. it's smooth and has kind of cherry and apricot flavors to me um i'm i'm super pleased with it i like, thought it was like, look at that cloudiness yeah i mean i don't know i don't know how well i might try to zoom in on that see if anybody can see and the no sediment though. That was the, that was. I that like was cool I like how overly carbonated it is. It yeah. makes it funny to pour, uh, but it really dances on your tongue more and it keeps it lighter. Yeah. Um, Carbonation makes me want to come back for more. Mm -hmm. They keep wanting to drink. The more. drinkability on this is super super high. Yep. Uh, now, if you guys want to see more of our absurd ramblings and trying crazy beers you know go ahead and subscribe or even try to open beer yeah i mean <laughs> whatever uh i was trying not to mess anything up i wanted to make sure i kept some of that on there to, to bullet um and you know what else we we try to do this three times a, a week so i guess we just get in there to let's let's just rate it uh did you dig it i dig it looking over at the studio audience did they dig it i think they're yes uh would you have another if I can get another. Yeah. Well, there is one more uh, between us that we have, and that'll get drank here in the relative near future, I'm assuming. Cause but it's hopefully delicious. they're thinking about doing more. Yeah, I, I, I think they should. Highly, you know, this was um, awesome that we had a local brewery do something super rare. Yeah. Um, now, because of its size, it's not one of those things where it was a pick six deal. Now, they did at the brewery, they did have it on draft for a while. I had it on draft. Um, and I highly recommend it. Uh, now I guess we're going to get down to the, the, the basis of it on a one to 10. I give it an eight. Give I want eight? to give it a nine, but it's so rare. Like not everybody who's watching the channel can get it. Um, I, I hate to say it, but I'm almost exactly in that spot. Yeah. It's just... Um, if it was more readily accessible, which I know that's part of the part of the good thing about yeah. it is that it's it's barrel aged and it takes them a year to to get it to us. But 
then when it's gone, it's gone, and I, I kind of... But hope they keep up with the Barrel Age series. Yeah. You know, this is kind of the start of it. Like, I'd like to see more. Um, now, in the works, and I got to try it, apparently there might be a Bell Mead ooh. coming through, because, thank you, Gordon, for donating a little vial of what was left in the barrel when they started opening the barrels. There was Bell Mead single barrel still in there, and he gave me a little nice. vial of it. It was like 127 proof. It was... Um, I'm I'm just gonna say I'm putting it right there, you know. Depending on the day, this is gonna be an eight or a nine for me. Uh, it was it's fantastic, and I'm not saying that because I I'm I'm friends with those two fellows. I'm saying it because it's that good a beer. They do damn good beer. Yeah. Um, looking over there at the studio audience, and they're right with us. So uh, if by some chance. You get a chance to grab you one of these in the West Tennessee area, and they'll be coming out with some more. We have a little insider knowledge on that. Yep. So, uh, there you go. Also, visit the brewery. Don't oh, yeah, the brewery is really cool. Yeah, don't forget. They have, like, a nice little lounge area, and you can rent it out. Mm -hmm. um, if you ever want to do, like, parties there. A lot of business parties do that. It's an awesome place to have a little party. Or you can just go have a beer, which yeah. is what I do. I but we do the out. flights. They're yeah, awesome. Always. Awesome flights. Um, well, there you have it, folks. To your next beer adventure. Cheers.